What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. And as a number of you have picked up on um, in a few earlier episodes, I've really not been um, being friendly to my protector at Louisiana. I've kind of been leaving them in the wind, attacking against the Euro Confederacy for far too long. And you guys have also <clears throat> picked me up on something I've said before about not wanting to be caught up in too many colonial wars. At least in North America. I'd like to focus on other theatres. So what I'm going to do is I would like to maintain, maintain my hold on Boston. Because Boston is a valuable region. Not as valuable as Philadelphia maybe. But it's a valuable region. And to attack British armies in the field as and when. Um, this army will capture Iroquois territory. It will capture this region. And then I will give... Um, Fort Nashwack, Falmouth, and Newfoundland to Louisiana to try to create a bit more of a, uh, a solid player in this region that fights for me. And one thing I'd also like to do is Louisiana. You are currently unfriendly, and I can, oh, I can give you one piece of technology. Excellent. So I'd like to keep friends of keep friends with Louisiana. They've currently got quite a strong set of forces, and I'd be keen for them to actually move out and be a bit more offensive, particularly against the British, who they are at war with. Um, so my intention is to maintain hold of Quebec, Montreal, and Boston. Um, these to be my main holdings in North America. Maybe Iroquois territory? Just because if I gave it to Louisiana, um, they'd be asking for the British to capture it. So I think I might still hold it, um, but to give... Yep, Falworth, Fort Nashwack, and Louisiana to um, Louisiana. Actually, well, well after I uh, finish off these American... Well, actually, I can give it to them now, I think. Which means they have no technology I want. Do they, have, do they even have a university to research tech? I don't think they do. I think if they did have one, maybe it was up here? Nope. Louisiana definitely doesn't have one. Mm, so yes, I believe that's what I'm going to do. So Louisiana. Diplomacy, open negotiations, regions. Offer. Maine. Acadia. And Newfoundland. How about that? So these now belong to my protectorate. One thing I do have to do is create a... Actually, I would like to create... or make sure I, I create a naval dockyard somewhere. Um, which you already... Did I already build one up here? No. Fortunately, I didn't build one up here. But I'd like to build a naval dockyard to maintain um, some naval defence of Louisiana. Because I've got a horrible feeling the British may just land and invade and capture it. But nevertheless, I think that's a good idea. Um, down here in the Caribbean, this army that's recovering under the Windward Islands, they will reinforce and recapture my Dutch provinces back from the Mughal Empire. What I would like an army to do, most probably either that army in the Caribbean or this army here, you will sail to the Indias and land on... Ceylon, you will capture the first province in the Indian subcontinent and use this as a base of operations to attack um, the Mughal Empire. First, though, your target would be Bengal. Calcutta, a very valuable region, very wide open space. Difficult to defend, usually is Great Britain, because you've got, you're fighting all over the world. But if I've stabilised my position in the Americas, I think I can manage it. I've got an income about 6,000 to 10. Because right now the Mughals are raiding me in my own home territory. Well, home, air quotes, my colonial possessions. And I'm not really facing any threats in Europe. I'm allied with the Austrians, I'm at peace with the Prussians. I'm allied with the Swedes. Allied with the Spanish. The only enemy is Britain, so I need to um, keep going, keep researching my naval techs. Still going to recruit fourth rates, and I can't build the dry dock until I get... Oh. I can build the dry dock. Well, no. Firstly, I need to build a naval college to unlock the dry dock. 
So I would like to try and see if I can wrest dominance of the navy away from Britain. So right now they've got quite weak fleets, so maybe if I can dominate the channel I can do some nice raiding. At least that's the plan. Then down here in Egypt, my force here is still recovering, and they will... Well, I'm scouting them on now, actually. Okay, full force inside Jerusalem, mostly camel nomads though, and poor... Poor infantry and melee infantry. And I do have canister shot. They'll hold for now. I'll do a last bit of re reinforcement and try and see if I can provoke them to attack. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm planning my turn out, but I have no money, so let's hit in turn. So hopefully that's uh, cheered you guys up who are looking for a bit of Louisiana love, because now they've got it. Might be tempting to see if I can. Sp mm. I was going to say ask for peace with Britain, just to boot that army out of out of uh, Iroquois territory. Yeah, let the Prussians and the Austrians fight each other. No dramas there. Spain is still my ally for now. Eventually, they'll turn on me, and I need to. I need to eradicate the pustule that is Flanders. The master could move my army out from Berlin, create a smaller force to actually garrison it, because I don't need all those troops to garrison it. They move an army out to do something, something more productive. Such as invading, invading India. Which is right now, I am strung along quite, quite sort of precariously in Central Europe. I've got a long, thin empire running through Hanover and Germany. Oh, come on, conquer the, the Iroquois. There's not much left. Aha! They're fighting on the back foot. This is their last turn to defend against the Iroquois territory. Or to defend me from capturing the territory, so let's let's fight. Yes, I think that's made us. A, it's worth a lot of money. B, it helps me defend my um, your possessions, my um, sorry, my uh, colonies in the Caribbean, but also it means that I can it'll act as a bit of a buffer against will allow the United States to form, in which case then they will be a very powerful ally. Okay, so this army well has had a, quite a bit of a pasting beforehand. So I need to be careful. Put those on the flanks to stop horses. Let's put one last unit of demi cannons out at an extreme angle to fire into this open open area. This creates a defilade, so need to be careful. Pick up these last two units of line. Pretty knackered. So spread them out manually. Spread them out. And a unit of militia. Why not? Make them horse, um, anti horse for now. Unit of pikes can go over here to keep an eye on those guns. My scouts can, I don't know, stay here for now with barricades. One unit of cavalry on the right, auxiliaries on the left. With actually, I can turn firewall on here actually because I'll fire over their heads. Sweet. Guard mode on. General's okay, general's okay. Cool. Okay, let's limber up this, this unit of artillery. Because they're not going to be as useful as they could be. Over there on the left. Artillery's pounding him. Let's create a small redoubt up on the hill.
to give my guns or give my guns a better angle and fire on them as they advance, which they are doing. So limber them up now. Redeploy redeploy my line. be a touch more effective when the battle lines actually meet putting these guys a bit more central all the drummers are off holy hell speed up time a little bit yeah they ran up so I might not get the full advantage of all of my as many blasts of canister shot as I would like. So with you, unpack. Oh god, this this flank is actually looking a bit isolated. Let's move cavalry over, and let's move you over. General, stand firm. Preload, not preload, but aim with ganister shot. Because here they come native lancers, bowmen, arm tribesmen, Native American warriors. Let's get my cavalry out there on a bit of a run. Gonna have one open up. There you go, you're going to spin around and aim. You get opening shots from the armed tribesmen, get a hand for the kills. Ah, there we go, I say opening shots, these are the opening shots. Let's hit them with my unit of cavalry. Let's hit both of them with my cavalry. Is that a unit of bows behind them? It is a unit of bows. Switch to canister shot. So lots of my horses are dying, I can hear. As soon as they break, straight into the bows. Unit of armed tribesmen. Don't need to bother about hunting them down. They're, they're about to lose their settlement. Coureur de Bois picking them off. It will get a bit sticky for them when they hit combat, but that's why I've got my cavalry. See, early game, these tribes are terrifying. Bowman, Bowman, so you hit them. Turn your guns off. I'm going to make my Corrida Bar chase them down. back so just form up again there you go they will if they get into combat my with my skirmishes they cause lots of damage but things seem to be going okay I may as well let them chase down kills to uh, upgrade their veterancy It's appalling, really, in a way. 
There you go, un unleash my cavalry. Let's make them chase down that unit of bows. Let's bring them. Oh, hit down them. Charred on into this unit of musketmen, I suppose. Charge A. I'm fairly sure my cavalry don't die to my own defences. Yeah, let's sprint up my, my infantry just a little bit to bring them within range. Hmm. So unless there's any hidden units. End battle. May as well end it. There's no point. Excellent. Fortunate loss of my co my co uh, colonial territory, and they've burnt down one of my ports. Quick call to resolve. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Only for now. Only for now. Votre Majesté. En attente de vos ordres, nous ne pouvons faire cela, Monsieur. Okay, so if I were to offer Britain a peace, well, who are the allied with first? Okay, the only one I'm not allied, not enemy, I'm not, nah, doesn't make sense to declare peace just yet. Well, if they're going to leave New York open like that, then I'm going to go for it. I mean, I, I know I wasn't going to push in but you know they're letting me have it same philadelphia philadelphia is a not a massive city but it's a big city and they're just leaving it exposed just because i'm confident enough i'm gonna do this and probably fight you because you've just got infantry so let's fight, fight you I wasn't going to attack. Well, no, here's what's going to happen. I'm not going to attack Philadelphia because I want the United's. It, 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 it should. If there's any sense, it will rise in Philadelphia, so I don't. Okay, artillery is going to be a bit useless, so I'm going to put my guns in the centre and a big battery. They're going to walk forward and try to blast them. There's one wing on the right. Of five squads. Another wing on the left. Five squads. Cavalry is going to be in the woods, advancing stealthily. General is going to be in behind. And these three units are just going to be reserves. Critically, not firing to the backs of my men. To run. Okay, I thought they were advancing into me. They do look beautiful. British troops just look so good in that red. Very, very loud drums. Oh, sorry. Okay, now while they're... While they're reorganising, run in. Don't worry about the guns.
get my There we go, open fire. Spread, spread. So when I get to the flanks. Let's see if I can get one of my get my regulars. To you go into the flank both of you good that's the rogers rangers being annihilated and the colonial light cavalry being annihilated against my square. Good, that is all them. Let's go after that unit of colonial light so we can leave my tribal auxiliary free to do some raiding. Like against just hold them together for now. Come on. Turn fight. Fine, don't turn and fight. horse to retreat please okay the morale is weak everyone get in critically get my pikes in all of them turn guard off so they do chase the troops down absolute slaughter take that man's colours don't worry about the native bowmen actually go after actual infantry Continue. Oh, they might get away. Well, depends on what my general deals with these rangers. Make sure, keep making sure all my cavalry is engaged.
No, not them. Fifteenth Regiment of Foot Hessian Line Infantry is about to be destroyed. Should be the almost complete destruction of the this force. Bugs that are well, my infantry are catching up with this unit of infantry. This unit will get away, sadly. These others will get away unmolested, but they are just tribal infantry. Yeah, they are bowmen. Yeah, native musketman auxiliary. You, you can escape. Tell you of brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers what we did here. Get off our land! Decisive victory. Not just a heroic. Hardest thing of all for a soldier to do is retreat. I don't think so, Wellington. Did you not see what just happened? Cool. Exempt from tax, then I'll get my garrison bonus off you next time. Send these guys out to raid the last amount. Skewer. Excellent, that's gone stunningly well. Okay, this force, you go here for now. And I've got so many things I can spend money on. Obviously this is down there, so that's temporary. It's crew unit of, how much buccaneers cost? 165, 170, 170, 200, right. Unit of buccaneers it is, you clear out the port. You. You're already replenishing. Can you recruit artillery? No, you cannot. But I know where you can get artillery. Jamaica. Radio. Let's go back. Okay, so let's put... Ah! That's why you definitely will be a bit unhappy, at least. Get rid of six of that clamour for reform, that's pretty good. Mm, let's go for an industrial building. More money. Let's do some bog standard. Oh, actually. Average yield. Average yield steam pump mine, 1200. I'll take it. And you are probably still quite good. 1000, even though you're low yield. Cool. Good amount of money spent. I've given away territory to Louisiana. I've got, captured a few of my own key territories, so these will be mine to bottleneck in any British movement in Pennsylvania. Catholic missionary, increasing Catholicism. So New York's Catholic York. Oh, because 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 Louisiana has been a beast. They've actually. Been doing a lot of decent converting. Oh, this cavalry unit, you come come over here as well. Excellent. What a, that was a very, very impactful turn, I think. I'm um, looking at the timer. I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.